Hey guys, Kevin, it's me, another movie for you guys, continuing my reviews of the Muppet movies. Now, in my last movie review, I did review the Muppet movie. This movie that I'm going to be reviewing, I actually don't have that fond of an attachment to, because I watched it once when I was little, and I didn't really like it. So, it was actually probably the one I was looking forward to the most, because it's the one I've seen the least of. I mean, the out of the first three movies, it's the one I've seen the least of, and, uh... It's really sad, though, because uh, I didn't really like it at the time, and I was hoping that now it's a, you know, I'd like it a lot more, and uh, luckily I can now review it, and that movie is the 1981 um, musical crime comedy, The Great Muppet Caper. Now, The Great Muppet Caper, as I said, yes, it is a movie I've seen only once. I It's probably the Muppet movie I've seen. These two right here, Muppet Treasure and Great Muppet Caper, I've seen both these only once. I've haven't seen them multiple times, and uh, I was really looking forward to seeing how The Great Muppet Caper was going to be, and I have to say that I love The Great Muppet Caper. I think it's just as great as The Muppet Movie. I think it, it's still, it's honestly comedy gold. It's one of the funniest movies I think I've seen um, ever, really. It's probably the funniest Muppet movie there is, and uh, we're going to get into that, but there are so many things to love about this movie. First of all, when the Muppet movie came out, it was a huge success. It got all these nominations for the Oscars, so obviously they wanted to make another movie, so they made The Great Muppet Caper, and there's, right from off the bat, there's more to this movie. The plot's bigger, the story's bigger, um... Because the story in this movie is completely different than the first Muppet movie. Something you need to know going in is that this is not a sequel to the Muppet movie. It's not. It is simply another Muppet movie, another great adventure. The only time they've done a sequel is Muppets Most Wanted. And it worked, but I think it works better when they're kind of don't really connect at all. I, I really do like that. Basically, the plot in this movie is that Kermit, Fo Kermit Fozzie, and Gonzo um, are reporters who work for this paper called the Daily Chronic Chronicle, and Gonzo is the photographer. And basically, there is a jewel heist in uh, London, basically. They, they go to London because uh, Lady Holiday has, she's, she's a fashion designer, she's gotten robbed of her jewels, and they basically go to um, London to find out who stole them, while in the meantime you have uh, Miss Piggy, who basically is working as a personal assistant for Lady Holiday, but after having a run-in with Kermit, Kermit mistakes her for Lady Holiday, and basically hilarity ensues, and that's basically a plot of the Great Muppet Caper. But there's so much more to this movie than just that, and I'll talk about that, but there's so many things to love about it. Right off the bat, the Muppets are actually star actors in this movie. They're not just Muppets, they're actually actors. And if you guys don't believe me, the movie opens with them saying, yeah, this is a movie. What you saw in the Muppet movie, yeah, that was our real lives, this is just a movie. And they reference it so much throughout the movie. But again, they don't do it in a way where they shove it down your throat. They do it so obviously, but it's it works every single time because of the way they do it. I don't know how they do it, but it works so well, and it was very funny. And there are a lot of character changes here. For example, let's just get into the characters. Kermit and Fozzie in this movie are supposed to be identical twins. Yeah, that's very strange. I mean, they're... This was very weird, and it's there was no way this could have worked, but it actually works perfectly because they make fun of it constantly throughout the movie. Constantly you see them saying, oh, is that a bear? No, it's a frog, except bears wear hats. It's, it's hilarious to watch. I mean, yeah, they look nothing alike. That's what's funny about it, and it works really, really well, and I think they did a really great job with that. Also, the expansion on Gonzo as their photographer, I thought that was very well done. He has this, like, camera that always... Um, St you know, um, uh, makes everyone's eyes just, it, it stings everyone's eyes. You know, we all know cameras with flashes like that. Well, back in the, those days, at least, it was like that. And uh, for me, at least, the best character in this movie by far is Miss Piggy. She steals the entire movie. What they do with her, Miss Piggy has always played a pivotal role in Muppet movies, but this is probably the one movie where she plays the most pivotal role I think she's ever played. Her character in this movie is great. She honestly is kind of an anti-hero because she's not really doing something that's good. She's pretending to be this fashion designer. You know it's not going to end well, but she's doing because she loves Kermit so much, and you just, it's hilarious. 
hilarious to watch her pretend to be Lady Holiday and do whatever she can to keep up this act as long as she can. It's hilarious to watch, and she gets into these crazy situations, and it just makes things really, really funny, and I think she did a great job, and especially Frank Oz as Miss Piggy was hilarious to watch and definitely really, really great. And also, the Muppets as an ensemble... It feels closer. It feels like they have more... They, they had great chemistry in the first one, but in here, they I think they have better chemistry in this one because this is the second film, and they're a little bit more confident about that stuff, and uh, I thought that was definitely really great. There's more human interaction in this movie than there was in the first one. Uh, Charles Grodin plays our main villain, Nikki Holiday, and he is just hilarious. I mean, he hams it up like... Um, like the vil like Doc Hopper in the first movie, but I think he's even better in this movie because he perfectly plays this just crazy guy. He's hilarious to watch. He ends up falling in love with Miss Piggy at one point. I mean, he is just so great, and you can tell he was having a ball with this movie, as was Diana Rigg as Lady Holiday. These two were having so much fun, and they did a fantastic job with that, and I definitely really loved uh, the interaction between them and the Muppets. It works very well. And just like the first movie, what I like is that they don't really focus the movie on them. They're in the movie, but the movie is primarily about the Muppets. That's really what it is, and I think that was fantastic the way they did that. Um, directing is obviously great by Jim Henson. He obviously knows how to do this. He knows how to have the heart in there. He obviously worked in the first movie, so he knows what makes this movie great. But you can tell that they were trying to make things bigger and better for this movie. And like I said, a lot of times that really doesn't work. For the Muppets, it works perfectly. And this movie really is bigger and better for so many reasons. Mainly because of the screenplay. The screenplay is downright hilarious. Everything in this movie. There's not a single thing in this movie that's meant to be taken seriously. The first movie had some emotional moments. This is completely a farce. They tell you that right in the beginning that nothing you're about to see is supposed to be taken seriously. And they do such a great job with that. They have that great kid's humor in there, but I think the reason I didn't like this movie as much as I did when I was little is because it's really not for kids. I mean, if I had to pick a movie that was really adult, The Great Muppet Caper would be that movie. The humor's funny, and I think kids can enjoy it, but a lot of the humor they're not going to understand because this movie is so meta and in-your-face and all that breaking the fourth wall, they do it constantly throughout the movie. The first movie, they did it a lot, but in this movie, they do it constantly, and it works so, so well. It's so funny to watch, and the stuff they come up with is so funny. There's literally a scene where Kermit and Miss Piggy are supposed to be arguing. She He stops the scene to tell her that she's overacting, and they get into a whole argument about it, and it's as hilarious as you can imagine, and it, it was just so, so funny. I love that scene. I thought that was really funny. The subplots are really great in this movie. There are some very, very funny subplots, and they make stuff work that just wouldn't work in other films. And the thing, again, that you need to understand is that this is not supposed to be like the Muppet movie at all. So it's just a completely different story. That's why things are all, that's why, you know, the arcs are all weird and things like that. That's why things don't make sense, because it's just a different movie. And I like that the Muppets do that. They just, they never connect their stories. The only time they did that was the Muppets and Muppets Most Wanted. And here they're not doing that at all. And I thought that was very good that they did that. I really enjoyed that. And, uh... It really gave us a very different kind of movie because this is a very different movie. It's hilarious at points. I was laughing hysterically, and I thought they did a really great job uh, with the story. I was really into the story. I was even into the mystery in this film. I, even though you know who the Jewel Thief is, it's still pretty thrilling, and I was still really into it. I don't know what it was, but I just really got into the mystery. I don't know how they really did it, but I, even though I knew who it was, I thought it was really funny, and I definitely really love that. Also, the movie's not subtle. It's not subtle, but it's hilarious. And I think it's it works just so well because, again, you know that you're watching a movie. They make you realize so much that it's just a movie, and it's, it's, it's great to watch. It's really fun, and I definitely uh, really loved watching that. And just the stuff they do in this movie is so funny. There was a scene where there's this pointless cameo, and, and Kermit's like, can, can you, like, go away? We're trying to do a movie here. I thought that was really, really funny. I mean, that guy just got screwed over. There are hilarious cameos in this movie. One towards the end, I freaked out about. I did not think it was going to happen, and it was absolutely hilarious. Jim Henson, I think, even has a cameo in this movie, which is really, really funny. They really went all out with it. 
However, you want to talk about All Out, talk about the cinematography in this movie. The first movie, they had a budget, but they did it mainly in, like, suburban cities and things like that, pretty much stuff like that. No, they go all out in this movie. The locations look amazing. The hotel looks fantastic. There's just so much more to look at. There's even a part of the movie where they're like, oh, look at the beautiful scenery. Like, they're trying to tell you that this is just beautiful, and it is a beautiful movie to look at. The Every, every uh, setting that they're in looks looks amazing and it looked fantastic and I thought the cinematography was even better in this one and they did a great job with that however for me the best thing about this also I, f I forgot to say if you thought what they did with the puppets in the first movie was crazy think about what they do in this movie they jump out of a plane in this movie I don't know how they do it. I don't understand how the puppeteers are able to keep the puppets on their hands when they're jumping out of a plane. And again, you forget you're watching a Muppet movie, but still, in the back of your mind, you have to be thinking, how the hell are they doing this? I don't understand, but it just works so well. I thought they did a really great job with that, and I definitely really enjoyed that. For me, though, the best thing about this movie by far is the music, which... The music in the first one is great. It's a classic, but this is 10 times better than the first movie because, as I said, they had more of a budget. They could do a lot more with the songs. They could do a lot more with characters. There was more for them to do, and you really see that in this movie perfectly, and it was awesome to watch. I mean, there are scenes where there's just ensembles around them. This isn't just, you know, little singing in the car. This isn't just someone singing in a pond. That's nothing like that. No, these are extravagant dance numbers that very much represent classic musicals, and I thought they did a really great job with that. There's a scene called The First Time It Happens. It is amazing to watch. They go all out. They have, like, an ensemble. They do, like, a waltz. There's a scene where Miss Piggy has a dream sequence and you have um Charles Grodin uh, as char Nikki's character and Kermit competing um for her affections in just that scene it's hilarious to watch they go all out with the musical performances right from this is right from the song Hey a movie you know that this is going to be completely different than the first movie and I love that it doesn't throw you off at all it just it was so impressive to watch because again this is a muppet movie and and they treat it like it's a Broadway show. It is incredible. And you forget you're watching Muppet Movie. There were times where, like, the first time it happens, I forgot, oh yeah, this is a Muppet movie. I shouldn't be impressed, but I'm amazed by how well they put together these musical numbers. I mean, you could see that they didn't care just about you know, uh, the story and how to be funny. They cared about these musical numbers. They wanted it to be memorable. They wanted you to leave that theater saying, wow, that was incredible. And you know what? I did. I left this movie saying, wow, those musical numbers were even better than the first one. I mean, yeah, the ending I don't think is as good as the first one. I don't think there's anything that can be better than the first one. And this movie is definitely not as deep because, as I said, it is a straightforward comedy. There's nothing meant to be taken seriously in this movie. But... I will say that the musical numbers are just fantastic. There's more of them. They're longer. The first movie, they had to cut some stuff down, and in this movie, they really don't. I mean, there are scenes, they go on for like four minutes or five minutes, and I was really happy with that because of how into the musical numbers I was. If there's anything I can say with this movie is that the musical numbers are enough to watch. Like, if you want amazing musical numbers, a great Muppet Capers, that movie for you, it's incredible, and you can just see how much more of a budget they had. They did a fantastic job with that, and I love that. And again, the movie really went by for me. I was into it the whole time. There's not one point where I wasn't into it. I thought it was just fantastic to watch. And also, this also featured the first actual appearance of Rizzo before he was a major part of the cast. Of course, he would eventually become a major part in like Muppets Tonight and things like that. I thought it was kind of cool to see him in a role when he wasn't uh, big yet, and I thought that was definitely well done. And I definitely liked. Um, Seeing that, they did a very good job with that. But overall, guys, the Great Muppet Cape, and also the the way they uh, the way they get the bad guys is awesome. The final um, scene is actually pretty thrilling, but it's also really funny, and they did an awesome job with that. And I definitely really love that. So overall, guys, The Great Muppet Caper is another hilarious Muppet movie. It's not at all the same movie as The Muppet Movie. You need to know that going in. It's not at all the same movie, but it is just as great. It is hilarious. It has some amazing musical numbers. And I forgot to say, they do, like, choreography. They have ensembles in the background. Like, hey, a movie, they have this random ensemble that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it just works because they're trying to 
pay homage to musicals. I think that's something that works so well in this movie is the way they pay homage to musicals, um, which was definitely really great. And the fact that they acknowledge so much that they're just making a movie and that this isn't, and they stop the movie so many times and just look to the camera and break the fourth wall, and it doesn't seem weird. It's It just seems really funny, and it's, it's, it's really hilarious, I have to say. If you guys don't didn't really like the seriousness of the Muppet movie and wanted things to not be taken as seriously, The Great Muppet Caper is that movie for you. I think these both are great movies. I'm not going to compare them because they're completely different. They don't connect at all. In fact, I'm probably not going to compare any of these Muppet movies. I'm really not. I, if one's really bad, then yeah, I will. But you really can't compare them because they're completely different movies and they do completely different things. Heck, hell, the next movie I'm watching, I, I, they're like college students. You guys will see that in my next review but um if i had to rate this movie just like the first one five out of five or an a plus it's comedy gold it's hilarious it's just fantastic and it's it's great that it turned out as well as the first one did and they were able to make more after this but that's basically my review great muppet caper hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys saw this movie you have seen it i absolutely love this movie and i will see you guys in my next video which will probably be for the muppets take manhattan and i will see you guys for that okay bye